everyone this is Lamin Sani of LX Web Apps and in this tutorial series we're gonna be taking a look at how to create a simple and um, PHP CMS system okay so basically we're gonna be creating a backmin administration system for our CMS and we'll be using our PHP to build this CMS system using Twitter bootstrap to style it okay so let's start building our application first of all let's just create our index.php file as we have done here and in there, let's just create a simple HTML boilerplate. So I'll just use um, an Atom feature which just expands uh, when you type HTML. So we're going to title it simple PHP CMS. Okay, so the CMS will be using MySQL to store um, our database information. So in here, in the body tag, let's just put an H2 header there to say um, login page. So let me go to the virtual host which I created for that project. So now when I refresh it in the home page, it says login page. So the home page will be the login page. And in this video, we're going to be um, writing the markup for the login page. Okay. So let's go to um, Google quickly and just get um, bootstrap CDN. Basically, I'm just going to copy all the code inside of bootstrap and then just store it locally in our application so that we don't depend on um, some external source for it. Okay. So I'm going to open that in the browser and i will just copy that come here and i'll create a file um folder called css so css and in there i'm gonna create a file called bootstrap.css okay and i'm gonna paste this inside of there so let's link to that file that we created just now so i'm gonna do link and then i'm gonna go to the href and that will be css forward slash bootstrap dot css okay so now let's come down here and let's create a main container for our body elements okay so i'm gonna do div and a class will be container and this is bootstrap specific so i'm gonna move the h2 element inside there and now let's create a simple form element in there and then let's give it uh, an action of process login the PHP so basically we're gonna submit to that page and that's where we're gonna process the login information for um, the form data okay so let's create just one form element to show that um, bootstrap is working so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a div here and I'm gonna give it a form group basically this divs so basically bootstrap um, elements uh, go in there in a form group um, div that class okay so let's do a label and the label will have a for um, property of username and its um, value will be username as well and then I'm gonna create an input right after that the type will be text and it's gonna have a name of username and our value will be nothing and basically I'm gonna give it an ID of username and just so bootstrap styles this nicely I'm gonna give it a class of form control okay so I'm gonna save that and go to my browser now let's close all these two bootstrap links and now when i refresh as you can see now bootstrap is styling that nicely okay so to make this small what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna contain everything inside of a div here and i'm gonna say um actually let's leave it like that um right for right now so let's carry on with the rest of this um, form here so i'm gonna duplicate these elements since we need a username and a password so i'm just gonna change the text in here to be password and um, the four attribute to be password as well the type also is not going to be text it's going to be password okay and the name will be password and the id as well because they correspond to this label here okay so finally let's create one more form group which is just going to contain the submit button so i'm going to remove um, this label here because the submit button doesn't need a label so type is submit and the name let's remove that uh, we don't really need the name and id for that okay so class um instead of form control we're gonna do button btn and then we're gonna do btn primary okay so i'll save that when i refresh now we have a username and a password so instead of submit let's just give it a value of login okay so i'm gonna come here when I refresh now, as you can see, it has login on um, that 
link here for submit okay but now when i submit this page it says process login does not exist so in the next video we're gonna create that file and then we're gonna deal with the submitted data for this um, login form here okay so i thank you for watching i will see you soon in the next video cheers bye bye